Well hello good people, this is Phil and I'm back with a new PHP tutorial for you. And in this tutorial we are going to talk about PHP sessions. First of all let's do some of the technical stuff before we actually code something. I made three files here to simulate a login system. So for example you got the index PHP which has a simple uh, form and this form just takes us to the locked in PHP and there you can log out and that's the logout page which takes you back to the home page. Okay, so a very simple setup just to show you what sessions are. Now let's take some look at the technical stuff. What are sessions? Well, sessions are stored on the server. This is important to know. And the other thing is sessions are used, for example, in shopping carts. So let's say you have a shopping cart on Amazon, you close the page and you come back to it some minutes later, then you will still have your shopping cart. And um, the, the good thing about this is that you can store data from the user, you can keep him locked in, for example. The bad thing is that those sessions obviously can be manipulated and somebody else might pretend that he or she is you and steal your data. All right, so we're not going to dive too deep into security now. We're just creating a simple form here to show you what sessions are and how they work. And we will see the session ID as well. Okay, now let's get started. This is the index PHP. All we have here is a simple body. We have a new user and we have a login button. Now the logic here, the first thing you always have to do is to start a session and this is session start. That's what you have to do, simple as that, okay? Now this starts a session and if you wanna check out what that did is you can, I'm sorry, you can echo this out, okay? So now you can go ahead and echo out the session ID and then you will see, all right, we got a session ID and this is a value and each time I refresh this, it stays the same. And this is important because like I said, the session is started, this is your ID now and this stores the data now that you use, okay? All right, but this was just for testing purposes. Let's move on. So. We created a session here, we started it. Now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna assign a name to the session and this is how you would do it. There is a super global called session and to the session you will assign something. First of all, give it a name. In this case, we can just give it the name name and then you assign a string to it, for example, and you call it fill in this case. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we have assigned the super uh, the name fill to the super global session. And this is globally stored on the server now. So like with the session ID we just saw, the name of this session is viable throughout all our files. You will see in a minute what this means. And well, it's basically all you have to do on the first page. Now let's go to the next page. Same logic here, nothing changed, okay? Now this is the locked in page. On this page we would want only people to see if they are locked in or not. So we would, this is the login file for example, where everybody can see um, the shopping cart or their own private data or whatever. Now, what you will have to do, you will have to start a session here as well. You have to do this on every page, okay? The ID will still be the same, so you don't start a new session, but this shows the file that it should access the super global session. Hope this is big enough. Let me enhance this a little. <clears throat> so it's the first thing you have to do on each and every file. Now, next thing is, we should check if the session is actually set. Let's do it. So, if, and then what do we check for? We check if something is set. So, if is set, 
Then we put our super global here, the session that we called name. So if this is set, then echo out, for example, welcome. You are logged in. And just for purposes, for the intention of this video, let's concatenate that with this, well, with this user ID, okay? Just so you see what's happening under the hood. Obviously, you could store this into a variable. You wouldn't have to write it out all the time, but you could do that. And also, let's put the session ID Um, ah, here we go. And then the session ID. Perfect. Okay, so we check if the session ID is set. So if it has been set here, it has in this line. And then we echo it out, the name. It should be Phil. And then we echo out the session ID like we saw before. Else, go ahead and echo out, you are not logged in. Okay, now let's refresh, log in, and then we see, welcome, you are logged in. Let's beautify this a little. Welcome, you are logged in, Phil. Your session ID is and then the session ID that we already saw before. Okay, simple as that. Now, I think logic wise, you, you understood what happened here under the hood, that we assigned it here, the name to the super global session. We created the session, we assigned a name to it, and here we checked it. Now, what's important here is the session start. Usually, you would have to go ahead and include a file like so. You would include and then index.php. You don't have to do that here, all right? And that is, like I said before, this variable, uh, this, uh, is, is, this is global. This is accessible from everywhere st since it is stored uh, globally on the server. So every file has access to it. So it, when it checks here, if it is set, it doesn't have to include the index.php because the Information is available from everywhere. Bear this in mind. And now in a minute I will show you how to log out again, because obviously there are a lot of functions to these uh, session variables, and you, you want to know some of them. So for the logout, first things first, in the first line you will have to start the session again. Again, this doesn't change the ID, the GGB10 will still be the same. And now what you want to do is you want to unset, sorry, unset the session. And here again, you put the super global, the session name is what we called it. And this is how you would unset it. All right. So you start it and you can, you could also destroy it. And this would mean that you would destroy all the session variables. You could go ahead and do it. Oh, sorry. It's not destroy session, it's session destroy. And this is similar to unset, but unset means that you unset a single variable and well, destroy means that you destroy all the session variables. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You usually unset it. This is the way that you would do it most of the times. All right, so we unset the session that started before. So this one with this ID. And now we can check again if it has successfully been unset. So we would go ahead and just copy this logic here to check if the session exists again. And we change some stuff here. 
you are locked out. So usually this should say you are locked out because, you know what, let's shorten this a little, like so. You are still locked in or you are locked out. So this should echo out you are locked out now because, so welcome new user, welcome your locked in fill, your session ID is Lock out, you are locked out, all right? I hope you understood that because this means, well, first of all, we start the session, then we unset the global session here. And if it is set, in, if it is still set, you would say, welcome, you're still locked in. And else you would say, you are locked out. And this is what we wanna see here, of course, because this is the locked out page. All right, people, I hope this was clear. I hope I could um, clear up sessions for you. In the next video or in some of the next videos, we are going to talk about cookies, which are quite similar to sessions and how they can store data and also how sessions can be hijacked by hackers, for example, and what you can do to secure your PHP files to not be hacked. All right, see you in the next tutorial.